like me, you have worked on both the brand side of things and the agency side of things. When you're working on the brand side, um, you are moving very quickly, mm -hmm. trying to get the right balance of internal and external resources and sort of a cost structure to be able to you know, drive the right marketing investment and, and, and get the right ROI for what you can uh, um, do in the, in the marketplace. Whereas on the agency side, you tend to be able to um, need to be a little more thoughtful mm -hmm. and spend more time thinking and creating about what it is that that client needs. Can you tell us a little bit about your transition from the agency side of things into the brand side? In, in my business role, uh, I feel sometimes that I don't get to take that creative time, sure. but that just means that I need to find the best people who I know are going to be provocative and thoughtful and you know, brilliant and not be afraid to come forward with um, you know, the kinds of campaigns and concepts that we need to s stand out. Is there anything that um, really stood out or challenges that you, you faced as you kind of changed roles? The main thing for me was the ever-present need to drive revenue and to make sure that I'm managing the spend against that. Um, you know, things can get away from you very quickly. If you have a slow Q1, yeah. uh, you know, you're not gonna make your annual revenue. So just that, that shift in thinking away from the quality of the program, if you will, to the responsibility for the revenue and investment for the enterprise. Um, you know, that, that was probably the, the sort of the, the biggest shift I had to make. So MedDecision's a, almost a 30-year-old company now, so it's, it's been around for a long time. And for many years, it was a pioneer of automation software. Okay. So for all the years that health plans were trying to take care of their members, they were using MedDecision software. And then when I joined about five years ago, we realized that we needed to shift from a single product, single market company mm -hmm. into a multi-market uh, platform, solutions, services, apps, company. Huge shift. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, every kind of shift, right? So the way that we did business, the way that we operated, the business model, how we sold, how we marketed. Um, so really for the last five years, I have uh, focused on extend it while well, sort of refreshing and then extending the brand mm -hmm. into new market segments uh, as well as doing a lot of the work to complete the turnaround. There is a lot happening in healthcare and healthcare marketing in that space there's so much changing. Can you tell us you know are there certain things you see um, changing or things that people need to be aware of and, and embrace as marketers and, and as healthcare professionals? So let me address it from the marketing standpoint first. Um, one of the things that I've noticed is that the healthcare stakeholders um, to which you must market are enormously stressed by the change and transformation that is going on in the industry. If you're a marketer trying to sell to a big insurer or to sell to a hospital system or other kind of care delivery organization, it's really important to understand that there is cataclysmic change going on inside those organizations. So it impacts your sales cycle, it impacts their ability to pay attention to new ideas. Um, many of the care delivery organizations are coming off of years of very big investment in their EMR platforms. Uh, they've been sold a lot of technology uh, and they're really struggling now to understand what did that technology do for me and why should I buy, why should I buy any more? The other thing is that as we enter this world of consumer marketing from the care delivery standpoint, boy, that's brand new. In terms of how the healthcare industry is thinking about it, I have to say that the mindset in the, um, e whether it's in the insurance part of the, the industry or in the care delivery part, I, I think the mindset is still behind where most big industries think about consumerism. They, they are, they're not quite there. They talk about it and they are starting to think about it. But in terms of starting to buy agency partners or starting to augment their marketing organizations internally, I think it's just the beginning. I think it's the golden age for marketing and healthcare. I really do. Are there any other key takeaways or things that you think of? somebody in the marketing healthcare space should, should really be thinking about today. There's great opportunity 
in this space for marketers, for, um, for people who think about how consumers engage with products and services. So I would say to any marketing agency or professional, get in it. There's a lot to learn. It's a complex and confusing space. We have reached over $3 trillion in national healthcare expenditure, which means that you and I will spend about $10,000 a year on healthcare every year. And the rate of acceleration of, of our personal investment is just going through the roof. Wow, that's a lot to think about. I appreciate your time today. Thank you so much. Absolutely, it's great to be here. Thank you for having me.